with fuel prices being the way they are and and all that i just don't have the body for only fans <laughs> what we got going on today today and tomorrow might just make it try and make it one video we'll see how it goes we're just gonna be futzing around the property here uh, i'm gonna go get the 334 off the job right now and bring it home primarily i got i want to wash it and clean it out and some stuff because we're supposed to start having some nice weather so i don't want it to be too terribly dirty but then i got to on tuesday go to new tech to meet the truck with the excavator to go to chawila to the next job i don't it's just, I think logistically, it's just going to be easier to tag the 334 along with me than it's going to be to, uh, you know, have to plan an extra extra equipment move in there. So that's one of the reasons why I'm going to do that. But then, if you notice, our driveway has got a lot of green growing in it. And we're going to be doing some work here pretty soon put gravel down on this thing so i'm just gonna bring the 334 home and between it and the tractor i'm gonna get some cleaning up housekeeping done here we go up there and pull some weeds with it but now that i got that tooth bucket i might actually take a stab at seeing if i can't get that stump popped out of the ground and getting this this little area right here worked up to where it's ready for gravel when we can do it here in the next next few weeks and then when i'm done with that i gotta get well before i before i even do that i gotta get the brown truck out of the way get the jeep out of the garage and dig in there and get the fifth wheel hitch out because i gotta hook onto the fifth wheel and after we're all said and done move it over here in front of the garage so that i can uh we gotta start getting it cleaned cleaned out figuring out what we got going on and getting it fixed up because uh there could be some life changes coming our direction and we're gonna we're gonna need that so so we got that warming up now I'll look around here a second the rain has absolutely done wonders for this rock it has uh it's activated the binder real nice and this stuff is packed in it's packing in really really nice uh like i said we get back over here to get going on this one again i'm gonna bring the tractor along with and i'm gonna i'm gonna rake i'm gonna run the rake up and down it a couple of times to get it really good and smooth and then i wish i had a roller that i could roll it in with guys did I got some rocks in there how'd I do that so I'm not exactly square so I'm gonna have to get this thing squared back squared up a little bit I have to move over I think what I'm probably gonna have to do is get off move over and come back on but now I'm noticing I got a lot of this right here that's a no-go you're not allowed to do that drive down the road with that stuff on the machine you can get a unsecured load ticket doing that by the DOT guys and being says we're moving this on Sunday, Memorial Day weekend, I got a hinty suspicion that if there's any cops out there that are actually on duty, they're going to really stick it to you because they'd much rather be like me at home where they're having a cocktail and not really have to worry about work. So I uh, think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the machine back off because I got to square it up anyway. And I'm going to uh, clean that off a little bit. I really didn't, re I really kind of pulled a, pulled a nimrod there by uh, not doing that before I put it on the trailer, but...
thing about doing it this way is you got a lot more you got a lot more weight on the pickup up here uh the when i did like uh, beginning of last year was it beginning of last year yeah beginning of last year so the importance of doing your research i had new springs put on this truck because it was squatting bad just with the fuel tank full of fuel on the back of it so i took it to the local shop and said hey i need new springs they said okay well what are you doing with it i said well she's a work truck and i had 100 gallons of fuel in the back all the time toolbox tools probably gonna be towing around a piece of equipment a lot and so what I did is I told them, I said, I don't want this thing to squat. I want it to be able to ride, ride good. So they said, well, what we'll do, we'll put 3,500 pound springs on it. And I didn't think about what they were saying. What they meant was 3,500 pounds per spring, not 3,500 pounds between the two springs. Stupid me. I didn't stop to think about it. I didn't ask for them to really clarify and explain. What they meant was pounds per spring. So to get this truck to squat, you got to have a lot of weight on it. And I tell you what, when it doesn't have the fuel tank in the back of it and we're just running around empty, it's like riding a buckboard, man. It is insane how rough it is. So if we do wind up getting a new truck, I am probably going to have the springs redone on this one to where it goes down to where it can be more like a three quarter ton instead of a two ton in a short bed because it's it rides rough it rides really rough okay enough of that enough chat and going down rabbit holes i'm going to uh tie this down we're gonna go home i'm probably overthinking some of this but it's okay that's just what i do i i overthink stuff i feel like jumping in the back of the pickup yeah maybe i should guitar string tight. Do you see her working? Chances are I have already told her. Of course she's the son of a bitch. I gotta go get the right tool. A pipe is not the right tool. It's getting to be way too much work to make a living anymore. There we go. Up here and take care of that strap. Okay. Yeah, we'll be able to do this real easy, just like that. That's the way I did it the first time I ever did it. Got the got the machine tied down, then then strapped down the bucket. And a lot of people I think I'm getting paid by uh, Cabelco and New Holland for featuring their gear. No, I'm not. It'd be nice if I was. I don't get any money off of YouTube, at least yet, and that's not my goal. My goal isn't to do YouTube and become a YouTube millionaire. I just enjoy making videos. There's some cool stuff I've done in my life, and the railroad, it's one of them. Uh, I wish I could have videotaped or videoed and shared some of my experiences and some of the things we I did and saw because, I mean, I thought it was pretty cool. And my whole entire purpose of doing the videos and stuff like that is I'm not trying to say that I'm better. I am not trying to say that my way is the best. Half of this, I don't, you know, half this, I kind of make it up as I go along. Based off of my experience and things I've done. It's one of them things where there's more than one way to do something. And I'm just trying to showcase my way. So, oh well. Alrighty, we're going to head home. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of time lapse driving. But I think I'll just do another one.
so we made it home and uh i think that that right there is going to be the extent of what we get done today um our neighbors had an unfortunate tragedy and they're having a little get together over there to kind of get over it so i think the last thing that they really would want to hear is me out here with the machine working so i think i'm just going to leave the track steer sitting on the trailer for the night and uh looking to do some other stuff that, that way it gives them some peace um i'm not gonna go saying exactly what happened but it was pretty it was pretty bad it's kind of affected everybody in the neighborhood so they got a little shindig going on over there i think i just give them some peace for the night or the rest of the afternoon at least until uh at least until they're done and uh, then we'll get into doing some stuff first thing tomorrow <laughs> I think that uh, I, tomorrow is supposed to be a little bit nicer too. It looks like we might have some fairly severe weather moving in. So, not to mention they're parked kind of in the way over there, which is fine. I told them they could do that. Uh, we we feel for them. We really do. Nobody should have to go through what they just went through. So, that being said, I think we'll just kind of hang loose the rest of the day and. Just make a really good long day out of it tomorrow. Anyway, chat with you guys then.